Morgan Stanley to buy Eden Vance for about $7 billion in equity value. James Gorman, one of the busiest CEOs on Wall Street through 2020. E-Trade earlier in the year, February 20th, a deal at the time in stock worth about $13 billion. Joining us now, someone who follows this very closely, Shanali Basak, Bloomberg, Wall Street correspondent. Shanali, it's another one for Mr. Gorman over at Morgan Stanley. Your take on the deal announced this morning. Absolutely incredible. It was only a couple of years ago when James Gorman said he wanted to double the size of this asset manager. They kind of walked it back a little bit. They said, you know, they didn't need to do it, but they would want to be bigger at some point. And guess what? Now you have Morgan Stanley playing in the big leagues of asset management with more than a trillion of assets under management. And clearly, James Gorman is saying, in my last few years as CEO, I, will, I am comfortable with changing the fabric of this firm and the person who leads the asset management business, by the way, is one of the potential successors of the business, uh, definitely gets his day in the sun today. All right. Shanali, a very important question is they buy literally the history and heritage of Boston mutual fund industry. To put things in perspective, folks, Vance Sanders years ago gave Carl Yastrzemski his first job after leaving the Boston Red Sox. All that history is fine, Shanali, but what did Morgan Stanley pay here? Did they overpay to buy the heritage of the Boston mutual fund industry? It's funny that you asked that. The shares um, are not reacting super positively this morning. They are down a little bit. So, uh, And Morgan Stanley, by the way, as you're saying, mutual funds, it's an area that tends to scare people. Uh, Morgan Stanley so far has been able to punch above its weight by sticking to many private assets, more bespoke products. But remember, Morgan Stanley is also the home of Dennis Lynch. So they've been able to show that stock picking pays off. They have moved a lot of that stock picking into private markets where they have excelled pretty significantly in their investment bank. And uh, you're right, it's a tough business. But they have made the case for public markets before, and I assure you they'll continue to do that um, in the coming days as they convince investors that this is worth it for them. Shanali, Eaton Vance is well known for its credit arm, for its fixed income, fixed income operation, uh, a big presence, particularly in leveraged loans. Can we make any inference from this purchase by Morgan Stanley in terms of which asset classes Morgan Stanley sees as the most lucrative to manage going forward? Uh, yeah, Elisa, this, it's funny you mentioned that because Morgan Stanley for a couple of years now has made significant investments in their fixed income business. So Eaton Vans is definitely an extension of a lot of the stuff they've already done. Fixed income they like. You, you know they like private markets. We know that they like funds. They like having stock pickers. So uh, it is definitely something that we've already known, but as you know, we've said before, this is this is a huge bet, right? This is a seven billion dollar bet on top of the deal that they just made and just closed a little over a week ago for E Trade. So how big does this make them now? It makes them four point four trillion of client assets overall in wealth and investment management. Remember those wealth management funds, uh, those thousands of advisors across the country will be also be able to work with this platform. Some market participants might be a little bit nervous remembering the last deal was February 20th, just as the market top. Just throwing that out there, I'm sure some people recognize that too. Shanali, every CEO on Wall Street has a vision, an objective of what they want their bank to look like. What does James Gorman want this bank to look like? What's the ultimate goal here? By adding to this asset management business, they have created another significant leg. We've known Morgan Stanley as a big institutional securities firm. By adding E-Trade, they've added a big brokerage, and now they have a major asset manager. They look a lot more like Goldman Sachs today than they did yesterday. And they said through E-Trade also that they would be adding a digital bank. So Morgan Stanley is sitting here punching above its weight, trying to be a much bigger bank than it was, and remember, uh, James Gorman has almost J.P. Morgan-like returns in the horizon uh, in sight. So over the next number of years, he's really betting, and we'll, you know, hopefully we'll have to ask him sometime uh, in very soon whether he can hold true to those return targets while he's spending so much money. Shanali, great to catch up. No doubt we'll touch base again a little bit later in the day. Shanali Basak there on top of this deal as it crosses the Bloomberg.